Hi, Yarnabees. It's me, Sandy. How are you today? Hope you guys had a wonderful uh, Valentine's Day. And I think there was another holiday on Monday, yesterday. Was it family day or something? I think it was. So I hope you had a great weekend and all that. <laughs> um, I have a couple things to talk to you about today. Uh, did you guys happen to see Petra from Petra's Happy Places interview with me? That was fun. <laughs> um, unfortunately, the sound on my end was echoey. And I think the reason why I wasn't wearing my mic. And but I think what happened was is that I had the video stream was going through my webcam and maybe my computer speakers were on too, or my mic on my computer was on too. So it might've been going through both. I'm not sure. Uh, I have to figure all that out so that next time that doesn't happen. I felt really bad because Crystal from Chronically Crocheting, she was in there and she had to leave because the echo was giving her a headache. I'm so sorry, Crystal. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh, yeah, that really sucked. I was really disappointed with that part of it. But the rest of it was great. Um, today's been a bit of a day. Yeah, I'm not feeling too wonderful today. You know, I think things are starting to pile up on me again, you know, in the sense of like the whole COVID thing and the, you know, like all that stuff is starting to get to me again. Um, little realizations are starting to hit me, starting to wonder if we're ever going to get back to normal. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was having this future is bleak moments. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Um, so I have a funny story to tell you. I was talking to Petra on um, Messenger this morning and I was telling her about this and I said, you know, I'm not going to tell you what the funny story is because you're going to have to wait until it comes out on video. <laughs> She's like, oh, poo. <laughs> um, I made another Mr. Purr's a lot. And if you don't know what Mr. Purr's a lot is, go to Chronically Crocheting and she has the pattern on her Etsy page. It's adorable. It's so much fun to do. And now I am totally addicted. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, so I did another one and I had a bit of an incident. I don't know if it was a menopausal moment or if it was just like, I don't know what it was, but oh, it was a moment for sure. I was at the point where I started to stuff the Mr. Perzola and <laughs> I was getting in there and I was stuffing and stuffing and stuffing and stuffing. And I got it to the point where I was just like, yeah, this is finally working. I'm getting it real good and, and everything. And then I, I, there's, once you get it stuffed to a certain point, then you start to do your decreases, right? So I'm looking around and looking around. I'm going, where the hell's my hook? Looking around, can't find it anywhere. Shaking all, all my stuff. Before I started stuffing my Mr. Purrs a lot, I went into the kitchen to get myself something to drink. And then I came back and I started stuffing this Mr. Purrs up. Little did I know my crochet hook fell into the Mr. Purrs a lot before I started stuffing it. I spent 45 minutes trying to stuff it to perfection only to realize that my hook was inside. I was not impressed. I had to unstuff my Mr. Purrs a lot, cursing the whole way <laughs> to find my hook. 
I wasn't using a furls hook this time. I was using um, just the regular, um, just the regular ones that have the rubber handle on it. They're quite a bit smaller. I'm not used to using those, so it must have fallen inside. If it was my furls, that never would have happened. <sighs> I hear you guys laughing. I can laugh about it now, but at the time I was so angry and so just disgusted with myself. <laughs> I figured, you know what? That's the only place it can be because I looked everywhere. I looked under my chair. I ripped my chair apart. I, you know, and then finally I dug my hand in there and I was looking around and sure enough, there it was. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. I was so mad. So I spent another half an hour trying to restuff my Mr. Purr's a lot. <laughs> and then I started doing the ears. The ears should have been easy. It was 11 o'clock at night. I was tired. I was starting to like get that Okay, it's time for me to go to bed pretty soon, right? I had to frog my ear five times. I could not for the life of me figure out what I was doing wrong, but I was doing something really wrong because it wasn't, it wasn't building to be this way. It was like this. It, it, I don't know what the heck I was doing. So I says, you know what? Forget it. I'm just putting it aside and I'm going to work on it tomorrow. So I woke up this morning, picked up my hook, started working on it. And I went, aha, <laughs> that's what I was doing wrong. I didn't put the increases in. Like, how can you not? <laughs> like, hello. Oh, man. I was so frustrated and so angry. So it was not, it, this Mr. Purr's lot had a lot of tears and a lot of work and sweat put into it, but it turned out really wonderful. And I made it specifically for my sister. Isn't he cute? Um, yeah, it does look purple. Okay, good. In the pictures that I posted, it looked red and blue, but it's not. It's red and purple. Um, and these are my sister's wedding colors. So I wanted to make one for her. Why does this one look so much bigger than the other one? Um, what I did was I ended up putting... Actually, I'll show you. I didn't bring them in here. Hold on one second. Okay, so what I did was, um, everybody was telling me to put cardboard on the bottom, but I figured that cardboard might buckle and, you know. So I found these in the dollar store and they're cork hot pads. Okay. And they're, all they are is a piece of cork. Oops. Hang on. Right. And they're hard, right? Like they're a little bit flexy, but yeah. And they're just to put like your hot tea pot or whatever. on. So I got one of these and I figured out totally by accident that this piece here, this, this um, cover green piece is exactly, excuse me, is exactly the size I need for the Mr. Perzalot. So I put it on the cork and I cut away what was needed uh, for the bottom and then I put it on the bottom and I stuffed it. Isn't it cute? I was really, you know what? I have to tell you that this time around I've made three of them so far. The second one we won't talk about. It's a mouse now. Um, this is the third one I've done and I'll tell you something. I learned a couple of things that I didn't know 
when I started because I didn't read the pattern right. <sighs> this piece right here, I could not for the life of me figure out. There's a part on there that she says to stitch five stitches along the flat side. What flat side? <laughs> I was going, this is a round circle. There is no flat side. So I just went, whatever, and I just put them on as is. This time around, I actually read it properly, and it says, do not work in the round. I thought it said, work in the round. <laughs> the first time, the second time that I read this. There's a flat side <laughs> to these. I didn't know. <laughs> so, okay, so now I now I made it properly. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Oh. And then there was something else that I did that I couldn't I there was a couple of things on there that I reread. I think it was the nose or something that I reread and went, Eureka! If you actually sit and read the pattern properly, it'll actually work for you. <laughs> so anyways, that is my next Mr. Purse lot. Way better than my first and second try. <laughs> oh, and I put the ears up higher than the other one. The other one's ears were kind of more out this way. This one I kind of put up a little bit higher so it actually starts to look more like a cat. Oh. Um, the other thing was I thought I got smart by buying the foam chips. Not Oh my God, these things are awful. I don't, I'm going to probably give this to my friend and hope that she can use it because this stuff is horrible, horrible. It's, it's like, it's almost like that popcorn stuff that you have in packages, that styrofoam popcorn stuff. It's like that. It's, it sticks to everything. The electricity in it is horrible. You put your hand in there and your hand comes out with all of it all, all over your hand. It's terrible stuff. Not impressed. So, George and I go to Walmart today. <laughs> and guess what I bought? <laughs> Look at this bag. <laughs> Holy cow, there is 64 ounces in this bag. Like, hello. <laughs> and this is the real foam, like the real, uh, sty uh, not styrofoam, the real um, stuffing. What do you call it? Poly poly polyester stuffing. That's going to last me for a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe how much these things take. They take like a half a bag of freaking stuffing. It's like, wow. So if I was ever going to make, like if I'm going to make these and sell them, I don't even know how much to sell them for. Because the stuffing alone is expensive. Like that bag cost, was it $29? $29, I think. Yeah. So it hopefully will last me a little while. So yeah. So these are a really good idea. They're they're you know, you just take a steak knife and cut around and then break it off. It's real easy. So there's that. Okay, so that's like 15 minutes of talking about the Mr. Purs a lot. Uh what else? Um I finished this. I showed this on um, 
on the interview that I did with Petra. It's got a little dingle ball. Uh, and it's got, it's like the triangle scarf kind of thing, but it's got the long tubular neck on it. This originally was going to be the Daphne Afghan. Problem is, is that I was using a five millimeter hook and I was using the Mandela Ombre. And the Mandela Ombre is a thin four, thin four. Um, the color is, what is the color? The color is Felicity. And then I just used uh, just a black generic um, yarn with it. This, I don't like this weight of four weight. Like the, I like the thicker four weight. I may have to put two strands together when I use this next time because it took too long and it was tedious for me. And so I got that much done of the one triangle for the Fel Felicity, no, for the Daphne Afghan and went, you know what, forget it. I'm done. I'm just going to make it into a cowl. Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. Excuse me. I haven't slept very good the last couple of days. Uh, um, if I make the Daphne Afghan, which I really want to do, I'm going to use a bigger weight yarn and a bigger hook. Um, because that just... It, Oh, I hated every minute of that. Hated it. So, yeah. Also, I finished this. Um, oh, God, I forgot what yarn I used. <laughs> I used the Bernat Premium for this color and this color was oh oh no it's not there ah um this is the michael's super no uh this the saver um value craft smart value yeah i can't remember what the colorway is though um, but the pattern for the collar, I'll leave that link down below. It's a completely different, uh, poncho style. Um, but it's like, cause I did the granny stitch. She doesn't, right? So this is my own design. Uh, I will not be doing a tutorial on this. No. Um, it was, it was a bit of a struggle for me. So for me to try and write it down on paper and everything, it's like, mm -mm. so, um, I did make a, um, slouchy hat to go with this. And I will show you a picture right here, uh, of me wearing it. Um, what else? Oh, I finished this. Ah. Um, this is another pattern that I bought. I will leave that link down below. The bobble, this is the bobble um, section. This from here down is her pattern. From here up is mine. And basically all I did was I continued the bobbles um, to make the beanie. Uh, so yeah, it's cute though, you know, um, I hate bobbles. I'm just now starting. Oh, she looks drunk. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, 
the bobbles on this one wasn't horrible because I was using an eight millimeter hook. Normally I can't stand doing bobbles. Um, so this one wasn't too bad, but it was still tedious, tedious enough for me that I probably won't make another one. Um, but who knows? You never know. We'll see. What else? <clears throat> okay. Um, oh, and by the way, you, you probably can't tell, but do you know what yarn this is? Bet you can't guess. homespun yeah I made the whole thing out of homespun what? <laughs> yeah it wasn't too bad I actually didn't mind it okay um remember I was telling you about that orange yarn and I was trying to match it up and and everything oops <clears throat> I was trying to oops hang on I bought the craft smart value in this color and then I bought two th two other colors to match it and then I had another color in my stash that matched it perfectly I started making the blanket problem is is that the other colors matched this too perfectly so when I did the darker to the medium to the lighter, and then I started using that color, it looked streaky. Like it, it just, it did not mesh well. Um, the, the lighter color here ended up, um, it, it just, it disappeared. And then all of a sudden you get a streak of the dark. And then a streak of the medium. It looked awful. It looked awful. So I'm not going to use this in the blanket. I decided to just use the three. Oh, hang on. Oops. The three colors that I had. Um, I'm doing. I thought I was doing the alpine stitch. I think I am, but I think I'm only doing like half an alpine stitch because it doesn't look anything like an alpine stitch. I don't think. Um, the colors are really pretty though. And the colors I'm using are the crafts value in uh, curry. And the other craft value is in ginger. And then this color is actually Premier Basics. And the color is Ember. It's actually darker than that. It's like, yeah, kind of like that. Uh, so those are the three colors that I'm using. And it's, it's turning out okay, uh, but I'm figuring out that I'm probably not doing the alpine stitch, really. It's more of a front post, back post, and then reversing it, like on the next row, where it's the front post becomes a back post, and the back post becomes a front post. You know, it's like, so it's kind of half an alpine stitch, I think, but it doesn't look like an alpine stitch to me. The alpine stitch looks really nice. This just looks like, I don't know, a bunch of double crochets or something. So, but I'm going to keep going and see how, what it looks like when it's finished. And then I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to border it with. I thought about doing the cream, like this color, but I don't know. I, it might have to be black. But then I thought of doing... Um, like a hunter green and I was like no so yeah it might end up being black I don't know we'll see how it goes when I get it finished um anything else I think that's it guys 
Oh, wait. I found this at the dollar store and I thought it was kind of interesting. It's a laundry guide and it tells you all the different labels. I thought that might be kind of useful when you have yarn and you're uh, not sure what the labels mean. So I thought that was kind of cool. I might put this in a, in a giveaway. We'll see. Just so you know, I am almost up to uh, 2,000 subscribers. Yay! Uh, when I hit 2,000 su subscribers, I am going to be doing a giveaway. A substantial giveaway. To say thank you to all of you for joining me. Um, so, yeah. Do the likes, do the shares, do the subscribe thing, do all the good things. Uh, and tell your friends and see if they'll come jump over and and uh, come join us. Because sometimes we have some fun here. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, guys. I love you all. Thank you so much for coming back time and time again to watch my videos. I appreciate it immensely. I really do. Without you... I wouldn't be here. I mean, I might be here, but it probably wouldn't be very successful because <laughs> nobody would be watching me. So thank you so much for being here. Okay, um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be doing another video. Might be a little bit. I, I want to try and get some more projects done before I come back on. Okay, but don't forget to go over to Patreon, Patreon's Happy Place and check out that video because we did have some fun. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you all. <laughs>